So, yes. Alrighty guys, well, welcome back to Mandy Energy, none other than me, Mandy! And... Oh boy! We have a video today all about Maurizio Di Giorgio, Italian name. We're gonna call him Maurizio. I decided to make a video about Maurizio because of many reasons, but the key point here being that Maurizio is the key voice, I'm saying key a lot, Maurizio is the key to unlock the Euro beats. Okay, I'm being dramatic. Maurizio is the voice behind three huge Eurobeat songs. One being Running in the 90s by Max Covery, another one being Golden Age by Max Covery, and of course, none other than Night of Fire by Nico. But remember, there's only one Night of Fire, not plural. Night, not night. So I decided about two weeks ago, I want to do a top five songs by Maurizio because I personally really love his voice. I think he has a very nice singing voice. It's very attractive to the ear, regardless of the tone. He does a great job. I don't really know what to say. I like his voice. I guess it's, it's the ears. My ears like it. They're just doing ear things. I decided to do a top five songs by Maurizio video because I've been listening to a bunch of Eurobeat and there were a lot of songs that were coming on playlists for me and a lot of songs I was randomly searching. I quite enjoyed and they're songs I don't hear people talk about so I started to kind of go back through the the back catalog that is Eurobeat that was sung by Maurizio from 1991 onward and I developed a list it's not five songs no it's not um, that's why this video is probably going to be labeled part one but there's definitely going to be a part two down the road and I think it would be dishonest of me to totally slash some of these songs from my list but I also am not going to do 12 songs, which is currently what it sits at and growing for me. Now the credentials of these songs are very simple. They cannot be meme songs and they cannot be songs that are big because of initial D. As I say this, I am not at all degrading any of the songs that have gotten big because of meme culture online or because of initial D. Because he has a lot of fantastic, fantastic songs in both sectors and they deserve love as well, but you're more likely to know about them. So I don't feel need to talk about what we already know. I feel need to talk about things that may have been lost to the sands of time, forgotten in a decade past with my childhood. I got dark. To give you a little bit of context or a little bit of backstory, just so you are aware, Maurizio started singing with A Beat C back in 1991. He released a series of songs under the alias David Essex, which was later shortened to D Essex, at the point that Brett Sinclair or Andre Leonardi moved on to Delta, along with Lauren Galmetti and Clara Moroni, Maurizio, being friends with Brett Sinclair, moved on to Delta with him. At the point that Brett Sinclair split with Delta, thus making it DMI, and him creating Sinclair style, Maurizio moved on with Brat Sinclair, then singing under the name Dijo. So all the newer songs from Maurizio are Dijo, or other random alias here and there. Maurizio has sang under a number of aliases. So let's hop right along to those five more obscure, random songs by Maurizio that I personally love, that I would like to share with you here today on Mandy Energy with Mandy. Just a little confession. So, um, I have a list of songs. I've not decided which five songs I'm going to talk with you about today. The first song I would like to discuss with you today is a song I actually own the vinyl of, but the vinyl's in storage or else I'd be holding it here with me. And that is Love and Celebration by David Essex. The song was made in 1991 at ABC Studios and is one of Maurizio's first songs. I personally bought this vinyl because I liked the art on it. As I say, I liked the art. I liked the pictures of Maurizio. <laughs> okay, there's a couple of cute pictures. That's all. That's all I'm saying. Just, okay. Love and celebration. What 
what I find really bizarre, and I use the term bizarre very, very loosely, about early Eurobeat is that it, it still has that high energy and it's hollow song. Love and Celebration, the first time I heard the song, it was actually on the vinyl I purchased. And I remember putting it on my parents' record player. Yes, I was a teenager and I was buying 12 inch vinyl records and I was using my parents' record player to listen to the music. But I remember the first time listening to it and thinking, this isn't Eurobeat, this is more Italo or high energy, but I really enjoyed it. I remember being, I think I was 16 or 17 when I bought the vinyl. And I remember just sitting there and replaying it and keep putting the little, <laughs> I used to replay it. I'd put the record on and I'd replay it over and over again. And Love and Celebration to me, it's just a great, high energy sounding song. It's well made. It does have an early ABC air to it. If you know what I'm saying, if you know what I'm saying. It's a song I personally enjoy. I've never let go. And I, you'll probably see a picture on my Instagram eventually of me holding the vinyl because I, I'm so happy I bought that vinyl. I'm so happy I own this song in a 12 inch vinyl format. So love and celebration and it's produced by dave rogers and mr contini not alberto contini mr contini you're welcome <laughs> the next song we're going to talk about is a song that did not get nearly as much attention as i i personally feel it should have gotten you know where's love and celebration it's a decently well-known early eurobeat song this one's not really. I'm talking about Saturday Night by Marco Polo, which was made at Delta. The first time I heard Saturday Night by Marco Polo, I was really astonished by it because it isn't a song that people really were listing. I remember being active on forums and talking to people and Saturday Night was just kind of a song that existed, I guess at the time people were aware of, but it wasn't something anyone was crazy about. And to me, as a new fan that heard the song, I genuinely loved it. And the bridge of that song, to me, is performed in such a manner, it's indescribable. So Saturday Night first appeared on Super Eurobeat Volume 81, and I'm so happy it did. Step into my car, ready to go far, I can't wait to pick you up. I just love Saturday Night. I wish I was recording this on a Saturday night, but this week I'm not. I wish it had gotten more attention. It only appeared on a couple of other Eurobeat CDs. I'm actually looking right now, and it appeared on actually, like, I own all the CDs it appeared on. <laughs> Saturday Night by Marco Polo. I love it. You should love it. Next song. Song number three is a song that once more I have never really let go. And that is Like a Thunder by Max Covery. appeared on Super Eurobeat Volume 98 back in 1999. Like a Thunder by Max Covery only appeared on two Super Eurobeat CDs, believe it or not. And this is one of the most fun, entertaining, deeper feeling maybe, I don't know. But it's a really interesting song. It's a fascinating singular production. It does stand out. Whether or not you like it, it has its own sound. All songs have their own sound. What am I talking about? I think it should have appeared on more. Though I know when I was getting into Eurobeat at first, this was a song that was kind of a fan favorite. One of those hidden gem songs that every fan knew about, but Avex just ignored. So let, let me give an honest confession to you guys. Oh, I used to be obsessed with this song. Um, I bought the CD this song was on, and that was the first time I heard it back when I was, I believe, 17. And I loved this song. Now, what's bizarre to me to actually reflect upon is that at some point it kind of fell off 
my playlists. It fell off of everything. And that kind of makes me a bit sad as I reflect now. But as I was going back and I was re-listening to a bunch of Maurizio songs, I came upon this. And I knew it had to be on this video today. It had to be on part one of my favorite songs by Maurizio. Because this is a song that only appeared a couple of times again, like many of these songs. It only appeared, you know, a handful of times on any sort of Eurobeat CD. And to me, it is a superb, in my case, it holds a lot of memories and I couldn't let it be. <laughs> that song is Listen to the Rhythm by D. Essex, which was made at ABC in, I believe, 1996, or it appeared in 1996 on High Energy Revol Maharaja Night High Energy Revolution Volume 18 in 1996. That CD series will never stop being a mouthful. Listen to the rhythm, listen to the rhythm. First time I heard this song was actually when I bought volume 18 on eBay back in the day and I got it and I sat down with my little compact CD player and my headphones and I just listened to all the songs on the album. Listen to the Rhythm is the third song on volume 18 and I, I bought this CD because it had three songs on it by Mega Energy Man and I wanted them. This song it <laughs> This song was a major repeat track for me. I could listen to this song over and over and over and over again. And in general, I really liked Maharaja Night High Energy Revolution Volume 18. I've, I've always enjoyed it, but this song really struck a chord with me. I don't know how it, it found up off my playlists, to tell you the truth. I have no clue. It was produced by Brat Sinclair while he was with ABC. Of course, Maurizio on vocals. You guys, this is a really odd Eurobeat song. <laughs> it's really weird, but in the best ways possible. It's like a lot of Eurobeat. It sounds like a Brat Sinclair production. This is a Eurobeat song I really feel deserves more love. It deserves more attention. It should have received more time in the limelight, but it never did. And quite frankly, as far as how Eurobeat has evolved over the years and how the anniversary CDs have gone, it's not going to. It's not going to ever get that returned love back to it. It's just not. Like, I'm, I'm, I'm a realist. I love Listen to the Rhythm. Uh, you should listen to the song. <laughs> song number five in this listing is going to be a newer, not really newer, but it was made at Sinclair style. We're going to be talking about 1234 Fire by Dijo. Audio clip. I wanna be Part of the charm of 1234 Fire is indeed the fact it's kind of the first big hit, I guess, by Dijo at Sinclair style with Brat Sinclair. Also, the music video that makes it a lot of fun. They would... <laughs> They put together a really great music video for this song and I thoroughly like the back, like behind the scenes photos of Brat. 1234 Fire is a really fun song. I think Maurizio's vocals are on point in this track. It's well done! It's a well made song. You know, it has that Brat Sinclair flavor. Duh. How's that going back there? 1234 Fire is a really fun song. I thoroughly enjoy it. If you've not heard it, please, please go listen to it. Please go purchase it. Please go enjoy it. Just listen to Eurobeat. I don't know. I have some fun facts to share with you about Maurizio and about Andre Leonardi or Brat Sinclair, but we'll get to that, I think, in part two. Well, guys, that's the video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you heard some songs you're not super familiar with or that now you're more interested in hearing and getting into. And I would ask that you would write a comment down below and tell me what songs by Maurizio you personally enjoy and why. Because I want to know 
What about his voice? What about the productions he sings on you specifically like? If you enjoyed the video and you want to share the Eurobeat love, feel free to share this video across social media or other places online. Not only that, it'll help boost my analytics with Google and with search engine optimization, SEO. So certainly nice for me, but even more so good for spreading the love of this amazing music, Eurobeat. Give the video a thumbs up. Subscribe. Keep it classy and I'll catch you in the next video. Am I gonna do something stupid? Probably. Love and celebration. We cannot feel the situation. Tell me you want me more.